Muscle memory plays a really big role in your addiction recovery. Today we're going to be talking about how these muscle memory habits affect you in porn and other addiction recovery. My name is Heather and I'm founder of Fight the Beast and I help people quit porn. So let's dig into why this is and how you can enhance your recovery through awareness of your muscle memory and habits. So they say on average we pick up our phones 1500 times a day and some people can pick them up quite a bit more. A lot of this is due to just muscle memory. You're bored? You check your phone. We all do it. Maybe you are, you have a few seconds that, you know, you don't have something to do and you're like, hmm, I don't have anything to do. And you pick up your phone. You feel lonely for a second. You pick up your phone to see if there's maybe a notification. Maybe somebody wants to talk. This automatic habit of going to our phones every time we're looking for something can get really repetitive, right? Up to 1,500 times a day. Think. How many times do you actually need your phone versus how many of those are just muscle memory picking up your phone to check it? We see some really similar things when you, you know, are hungry and you go and open the fridge and then five minutes later, without even really consciously thinking about it, because you know nothing in the fridge has changed, you walk by the fridge, so you just open it, right? Or maybe you've had an experience where you were on your way home or um, near a restroom and all of a sudden you really had to go to the restroom out of the blue. This is how our brain works. It associates places, smells, things, and um, even emotions with different habits and different actions. Kind of like if you see food and you salivate, your mind and your body is prepping for that thing that it hopes or thinks will come next. So this can happen and really affect Um, your your recovery and your urges when it comes to pornography and other sexual addictions. Different places, the bathroom, the bedroom, different times, morning, evening, you can have heightened urges and almost automatically pick up your phone and start looking at porn. Depending on how big of a habit this has been in your life and how often you have turned to porn, you might be like, I'm bored, I'm lonely. And like, next thing you know, you're on Pornhub and you've already, you know, started doing something. This can be really disheartening when somebody is in recovery, especially if they have a totally unconscious accidental slip like this. I know a lot of guys who in the morning will just kind of unconsciously open their phones and and watch porn, but they didn't even really consciously think about it. And in that moment, kind of forgot they were in recovery. So one of our goals is to help you be more intentional so that you can prevent these automatic muscle memory habits from coming up so that you can achieve success. One of the ways that you can do this is by checking out our portal at member.fightthebeast.org. We have an online community of men and an online course that teaches you exactly all the steps you need to successfully recover. You can also get accountability partners, come to our live sessions, and find out from the other 900,000 plus men in the community what they're doing to achieve success. We also have giveaways every month, so definitely check us out. It's free to join at member.fightthebeast.org. So one of the tips that you're going to use for beating this muscle memory is intentionally breaking up that habit, okay? So let's say, for instance, in the morning, it's been your morning habit to open your phone and look at porn. And early in the morning, you may not be fully aware enough to think, hmm, maybe I should meditate or maybe I should read a book, right? It's just that's not the flow of your morning. So one of the ways that you can prevent this mistake or this slip up is by charging your phone somewhere different. Maybe on the other side of the room, maybe in the bathroom, somewhere you can still hear your alarm, but when you wake up, your first thought isn't, right, you're not automatically going to social media or automatically going to porn. And by doing so, you're breaking up that habit so that um, it it causes a moment of pause and think so that you can actually make that conscious choice. I don't want to go forward with this. I don't want to do this in my life, right? Um, So by breaking up our habits, breaking up our routines, another one that has benefited me so much lately in life is actually um, being more intentional from the get-go in my day. This is something I've heard a lot on podcasts and um, like 
TED Talks and YouTubers talk about, but it is really powerful. Wake up and make the first move of your day intentional. Set your alarm earlier than you have to. Do something productive and that proactive mindset instead of reactive mindset of check notifications, you know, like respond to what needs to be done, view social media, respond to social media, that proactive, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to spend 20 minutes meditating, will help you the rest of the day to make more conscientious, positive choices. It's really powerful. It's annoying. It's annoying. I wish it didn't work, but wake up a little bit earlier, make your first move of the day really positive, and I guarantee you're going to see better results throughout the day. Um, for other habits during the day, again, just break up that habit with something productive or just mix up your times. Um, if you know that going straight home is a big trigger for you because typically you get home from work and you watch porn, um, break up that habit with something else. Try going to the gym or try going for a walk. Get to your driveway, go for a quick walk, and then go inside. Anything that you can do like that will make a huge difference. Also, if you're struggling with opening up your phone too many times, download an app that will um, prompt you to ask, maybe not even a porn blocker or an accountability app, but just something that'll say, hey, are you sure you wanna watch porn right now? Are you sure you don't wanna meditate? Or are you sure that you don't want to, you know, consider doing something else positive? There's a lot of different apps that will do that. And again, it'll just break up that habit so that it's less automatic. Screen time can really help um, if you set blockers on your phone. Just whatever you can do to give yourself that moment of choice, conscious choice, as opposed to that just totally automatic, unconscious action will make a huge difference and help you in recovery. Be sure to check us out at member.fightthebeast.org. The online course and our book, Fight the Beast, The Proven 30-Day System for Quitting Porn and Sexual Addiction, will help you a lot to implement these healthy habits that will make a massive difference in your life. Thank you for watching and participating and supporting our channel. Be sure to hit subscribe if you're interested in porn recovery and I will be releasing more videos and tips to help you achieve success.